got the it's got like the punch in and that, but there's no power in now. You know, you would have thought out of all the fights he's had, he might just get one lucky punch. And the next fight he had, it was a lucky punch. He's passed the guy out, and I was like, body shots do fuck you up. Okay, guys, so welcome back to another episode of uh, After the Fight from uh, Fighters Talk TV. If you haven't already, so like and subscribe. How are you doing, my good friend Max? How are you doing, pal? Yes, I'm not bad on this lovely Sunday evening. How are you, yeah. Andy? Yeah, not bad. Absolutely hanging out on one's arsehole. I stayed up all night to watch the boxing and you went to sleep. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I did start late. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I was dedicated to the cause, dedicated to the cause. Anyway, it was a great night of boxing because I originally didn't think it was too much on because you know the zone didn't publicise this one very well. Um, however, you know, it weren't weren't too bad. And uh, let's get jumped straight into it with a fight of last night. I mean, William Zapeda he actually floored Jamie uh, Abelodia. Seems <laughs> if we can't say that right. Guy, in the second round, it was some vicious <laughs> body shots. Did you get to see it in the end? Yes, I did. I tell you what, I was I was really impressed with this fight, even though it weren't. Um, going on for too many rounds but I'll tell you what both of them were at it they were you know what I mean but Zapita was a better man he shot more on point like more powerful and Jamie's you know they were saying he's got the he's got like the punch in and that but there's no power in now and I mean I, I, when I sit there you compare this guy to the body shot that Tank delivered onto Garcia these looked these looked a heck of a lot more vicious didn't they it, it, you yeah, compare them they did but it is again proving the point body shots do fuck you up yeah mate they do they leave you hanging it was a good fight guys so if you don't get a chance to watch it see if you can pick it up somewhere um, on the zone, they do release it today, like the day after from live. So if you don't ever get to see it, you can watch it the very next day. Um, can I just say one thing though? Right, right at the end, that um, Zapeda said he's the best at 135 weight. What do you reckon on that one? I reckon he's talking out his ass. <laughs> no, he ain't. Yeah, is he's like he's number one for his weight, basically. Yeah, but they all believe that. They all believe that. I don't think so. He's got a lot of competition. He's got a lot of good. Yeah. It's just like when Tank last week when it, oh, you know, I'm the face of boxing. I was hanging on. You, that's, that's a big statement. There's an awful lot of boxing people well, out there. You know what? I was just reading up on the, the Tank and the Garcia saga. No, don't ruin it because that's in the next episode. We're supposed to be doing after the fight. Don't ruin it. Oh, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll talk about that in the next episode. So, guys, you've got to watch the next one. So, of course, I want to chuck one in there, actually, because I don't quite like the David Stevens fight and Paraban. Paraban, right, is pretty much a journeyman. He's nearly at the end of his career, and he actually put David Stevens down. I don't think he was... What, <laughs> and I was sitting there watching that fight figure, oh, this could be a bad upset. Do you know what I mean? Did you see it? No, I, never, I, can't, I can't even comment on it, because I've, I've never seen this fight. <laughs> I tell you what, oh, now, now, guys, I mean, we've all seen what journeymen do, right? So they go out there, they make the other guy look good. My brother was an artist at that. My brother's, in, you know, a cage fighter. And they my, they call him 10 Second Ben, right? Because he makes everyone else look good inside 10 seconds. <laughs> and they used to say to me, God, can you come and sponsor me? I said, only if I can have my company's name, FTTV, written on the soles of your boots, mate, because that's what's going to be it. <laughs> yeah. But... I've got one thing I like. I do like to see a journeyman, like, you know, stick one on him and occasionally put it. He put him down, right, David Stevens, and they still gave Stevens a fight. Okay, it was a fair, a, a, you know, fair way, but you've got to take it off to Marco Antonio Paraban. So if you got, you know, Max, you got to go watch that fight. It was quite interesting. Yes, I was trying to look for it um, this morning, but I just couldn't find it. No, uh, you weren't looking hard enough, weren't looking hard enough. And I'll tell you what, one, I just want to talk about one more fight, obviously, that I saw last night, and you can and, and go on. Victor Morales, he actually dominated Diego De La Hoya, right? Now, De La Hoya said, I've got my family, I'm all right, I'm happy, I'm all right. And, of course, it was in front of Oscar, which is his cousin or uncle or something like that. And he was just he was just taken apart, absolutely taken apart. Yeah, he bashed up. <laughs> oh, he got bashed. Yeah, there was no two, two ways about it. He sort of fell flat on his face. He tried to get up for the second time. It just weren't going anywhere. Do you know what I mean? He was he was yeah. out. And it, it was good to see. To be fair, um, the other guy, you know, Morales. He, he said, "I can take him. I can take him." There was a lot of doubts going on, um, but nah. I mean, he just took him apart. He really, really did. 
Um, it, it just, it, it was a total mismatch in the end. But you wouldn't have thought it on paper. Do you know what I mean? You no. really wouldn't have thought it on paper. And it was, uh, yeah, I, I, I really quite enjoyed that. So those are the three I want to talk about. You want to talk about any of the others? Right, I want to talk about the Altez and, uh, is it Cavalascas? Yeah, yeah. I said no, his yeah, name Altez, Cavalascas, yeah. Right, I'll tell you what. That was a good fight. It went on for nine rounds and all tees I've heard, it normally takes his opponents out within three rounds. Yeah, and he and he struggled with him, didn't he? Yeah, and there, and another and the odd occasion, seventh round, but this went on eight or nine rounds. But in the in the later stages of them the rounds, all tees were battering him. He dropped him four or five times in the end, and in the end he was just laying on the floor, he didn't want to know. Uh, well, no, I think he got up. I mean, uh, he, you have to say the geezer was game. The geezer was up yeah, in the game. It was game, but uh, Ortiz was just all over him. He was a fast pace, centre sent the ring, at it. Well, well, I'll tell you, they're predicting some real big things for Victor Ortiz, aren't they? Really big things. Yeah, they are. You know, uh, I think they both of them done very well, but um, Ortiz was, again, was the better better boxer. And, I, you know, I'll take my hat off to Cavalascas. You know, he stood there toe-to-toe. You, you know? Yes. He gave him a couple of troubles. He, I see it, he gave him a bit of trouble at time as well, didn't he? So he gave him a real good account of himself. Listen, the first couple of rounds, that Cavalascas, you know, it, it wasn't being shy with his punches, you know. Mm. They were landing, but Altez was, like you saying, was the better fighter at the end of the night. And it was a slug fest, but he come out on top. Well, that's it. I mean, I, I quite enjoyed it. I mean, it was a, it was a good fight, and um, you know, it, it just it's just going to be. They reckon uh, oh, sorry, Ortiz is now ready for world championship level now. Yes. We're talking about some uh, some title fights and and whatnot. You know, I, I mean, it goes back to you know we've had this discussion before. I absolutely hate the way the world boxing rankings are working. I, you know, you should have one champion, and the fights the best should fight the best, and. And whatnot, yeah. and if you don't fight the best, you know you can't. How can you consider yourself a world champion? Who is the best of the best until it's undisputed? Do you know what I mean? It's right. it, it, and and I'll say to people, you know, you've got two hands, right? You've always got two hands. You've got everyone's got a puncher's chance. Everybody and anyone who steps in that ring, do you know what I mean? Uh, has got has got a puncher's chance. And I, I mean, I talk about my brother a lot. You know, he. he he could have gone on to do lots of great things, but um, you know, in, in the fight game, we both have been in the fight game. He's, he's still in it now, 42 years old, and and I sit there and I said to him, you know, it was quite a it's running joke. Yeah, he was a journeyman. He's been all around the world. He's achieved some really good things as a journeyman. And I said to my mum once, I said, you know, you would have thought out of all the fights he's had, he might just get one lucky punch. And the next fight he had, it was a lucky punch. He's passed the guy out, and I was like. But that's what I mean. Everyone's got that puncher's chance. And I did see that lucky punch as well, but it was a sweet one. Uh, yeah, it was, not it? He's jumping all over that, him in the end. I mean, you know, that sweet and lucky. He didn't realise he done it. <laughs> I mean, at the end, at the end of the day, I do like to see an underdog triumph. Do you know what I mean? Occasionally, you know, I do like to see that, except when it's uh, against one of our fighters here in Great Britain. Anyway, Max, it's been a pleasure, mate. We're going to catch up next with the next episode. We're going to be bringing some more stuff to the folks at home. Obviously, we're going to talk about boxing news and we're going to start to do some boxing history as well. So those fighters of yesteryear. Yes, I can't wait for that, that whole history of boxing because there's some endless amounts of uh, talented heavyweights back in the day. Well, that's just what... heavyweights, isn't it? you got all the middleweights and everything else. Back in the old days, from like 70s, 60s, 80s, heavyweights, would, I preferred them. Well, the name stood out, didn't they? It's because it's knockout boxing. Anyway, guys, thanks very much for joining us here. And uh, don't forget, like and subscribe to the channel. And we will both catch you again very, very soon.